in there. You must have some village stories though, right? Go on, get out. Go on. Okay. No, 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 I can't, I can't. Can't put any of them on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. What have we got here? <laughs> cheeky, Mary, very cheeky. Good afternoon, everyone, and here we are on the road again, this time to a quaint, gorgeous chocolate box village called Finchinfield in North Essex. Actually hosted the Tour de France back in 2014, stage three, I believe. Also home to Jamie Oliver. He's got an Elizabethan manor, I do believe, around the corner, Spain's Hall. He bought it a few years ago, and apparently it wasn't on sale for 250 years up to the point in which Jamie Oliver bought that. So if he lives there, it's got to be a gorgeous little village. That's it. Let's find out. Join me. So we've arrived in Finchingfield. Before we get stuck into the people, the culture, the history, let me tell you a little fact. Dorothy Dodi, obviously that was a nickname, Smith, wrote 101 Dalmatians and she lived about a mile and a half away from this village. So already we've got two famous people linked to the village and apparently it's tiny. Let's get stuck in, shall we? So the first major place of interest you encounter when entering Finchingfield is the incredible Guild Hall, which was built around 1470 by the Guild of Holy Trinity to house a guild of priests and provide a schoolroom for the boys of the village. Now I'm taking a stroll through this lovely little interactive museum which is open Saturday and Sunday from around two till four. Recent restoration work exposed scorch marks on the timbers here where priests attached wax tapers to light their studies at night. That's beautiful. So they do all sorts here at the Guild Hall. These pictures come. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, oh, I can't bear it. They come from a Tudor fair which took place at the Guildhall in 2015. <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry, you look like complete Muppets, but fair play. Fair play for joining in and dressing up. It's all good laugh, isn't it? Rightio, that's enough of the Guildhall. We're going to float around the village and see if anyone wants a bit of a chat. You all right, bro? How you going, fellas? You all right? Yeah, are you locals, are you? Yeah, what's the what's the vibe then? What's it like living in a village? Just chilled. Yeah. Everyone talks. Everyone, to, even everyone's the guy friendly. in the pub. Even the guy in the pub. Yeah, even friendly. the guy in the pub said last night. He said, "You right. know what? He comes out. He lives in he lives in Woodford." Right. And he said last night, he said, I can't believe, he, he's here visiting his lady friend lives on the green down there. Yeah. And he said, I can't believe how many times I, he said, I walk her dog. And Emily he said, everyone says hello. Morning. Morning, yeah. nods their head, how are you doing? He said, I live in Woodford, he went, and you get nothing. You get, yes. don't even say hello, good morning, nothing. So you're saying like, the, vi the vibe in a village is much more community focused. Oh, yeah. without a shadow of that, yeah. 100%, yeah? 100%. You can walk from the village through here, and everyone will say, hello mate, how are you doing? Nice to see you. The shop's just around the corner, things like that. You yeah. walk through a town, no one wants to know you. No, nope. right. They're just going to doing their own thing, aren't they? They're all yeah. going to either work, or this don't. Doesn't that get a bit low, the fact that everyone knows everyone, you know you hear this kind of, uh, well, I don't really want everyone knowing my business. Oh, everyone knows everyone's business. Yeah, everyone, 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 yeah, everyone knows everyone knows. Yeah. Do you mind that? Do you mind it's people, everyone knows your business? It's, 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 it's easier. It's easier. Yeah, it's easier, because yeah, yeah, then you can tell your story to one person, and then by the time you go around the table to tell it to the person next to you, they already know it. And it works out for work. By the time you go to the toilet and come back out, I mean, everyone knows your business. I remember mum, I remember we lived in Queen Elizabeth Road, Walthamstow. I remember my mum and dad just leave their front door open every single night. Yeah. A jar, really? leave yeah. it a jar. Yeah. Wake up in the morning. Like we've, we've, how many times we've done it where we live now? Oh, right. Where we live now, I, live the, I come down in the morning and I go, oh, I did lock the back door last yeah. night, yeah. no trouble. So we're all in no, the The crime, right, everything around here is, is, is minimal, very minimal. You must have some village stories though, right? Go on, Gal. Oh, go on. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't know, I can't, I can't, can't put any of them on the internet. <laughs> 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 no, that's fair enough. That's fair oh, enough. Yeah. What's what's the selling point to Finchingfield? The selling point. Just the view. It's just really it's green. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. The pub. Nice, nice hot day. Nice, nice hot, hot day. day. It's lovely. What's this? What's this pub like? Lovely. Nice Finchingfield Lion. Finchingfield Lion. Best pub. Best pub in the village. Looks old. Allegedly. Looks really old. <laughs> it is old, yeah. 
It's been nice chatting to you all. Oh, we'll see who else is around Phil? in a second. Yeah, take care. Phil? Yeah, yeah. Have you got any Adam. stories yeah. of the nice meeting? Nice to meet you. Take no. care. No, nice, right. to meet you. nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Cheers. These two, these two don't want to be on film. Look, these two. Hey, guys. Great speaking to you all, yeah? You take care. All the best. See you later. Cheers. Right, so now we enter the village. Look at that. Gorgeous. There's been a settlement in Finchinfield since historical records of the area began. Also, there's archaeological evidence for a Roman villa 400 metres south-southwest of the village church. And the place named Finchinfield is first attested in the Doomsday Book of 1086. The village was valued at £18 at the time of the survey. The land included woodland with pigs, meadows and a mill. Right, so I've found the owner of the Fox, which is the main pub in Finchinfield. It's Keith, isn't it? It is indeed. Hello. Right, yeah, it's, I'll shake you around, Keith. Nice to meet you, nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. That is a proper handshake. <laughs> Keith, tell me a bit about the Fox. The fox, well, we yeah. trade as the Fox on the Green. Right. Um, obvious reasons. Okay. We're predominantly food led. Brilliant. So we, um, we probably do 70% of, um, of our business is food. Okay. We have a great local customer base, but we also have a good tourist base. Um, I was going to say, a lot of cyclists and motorcyclists come through, don't they? Everybody. Motorcyclists, classic cars. Today we had a party of um, 15 vintage motorcycles. Really? And I missed it. No. They came for lunch today. They pre-order and come for lunch. So we're, we're, we do that a lot. Within the village, we've got a guild of businesses. And one Lovely. of the businesses is called Spain's Hall Estate. Isn't that Jamie Oli uh, Oliver? Jamie Oliver bought the house, yes. Right, okay. The, the estate, the, a lot of the, it, he bought, the, the, my understanding is he bought the house. Right. And, 20 acres around it. Okay. But the rest of the estate is still owned by the Ruggles Bryce family. So have you always been a landlord? No, no, no. No, um, only 12 years. So within 12 years. Ah, so the last 12 years. Last and 12 you years. were before an investment banker? <laughs> no, I had a waste management yeah. business. Oh, really? So I was in waste management. Waste, and was that in, in the city or no, where was it? Um, in uh, Shropshire. That was in Shropshire? Well, based in Shropshire, but it was countrywide business. Ah. And did you come to a place where you thought, you know, I'm going to sell this and I need to have a, a different sort of passion and a new challenge or? Different life, yeah. New challenge, new life um, and love it. The passion, um, the, the, the passion for me is providing a great location. Yeah. Clean, um, very clean, very friendly. Yeah. Um, stylish. And I think that's what we've achieved. Smash we get, it. We get a lot of customers here. And what is your signature, your signature dish? Well, ironically, I suppose our signature dish is probably um, our pies. We make oh, really steak and ale pies. <sighs> Hang on a minute. Let me just turn <laughs> this round. Keith makes fabulous steak and ale pie. That's it. You've sold me. You have definitely yeah, sold me. I'm surprised you've not called on Jamie Oliver to come and cook for you in the kitchen. I yeah, wouldn't presume. <laughs> I'd be delighted, but I wouldn't presume. Here's Keith. Thank you very much. Cheers. Right, I found some yeah, interesting looking people. Hello. You might be the most colourful bloke I've met today. <laughs> how you doing? I'm enticed. I've got to come over and say hello. Adam. Hi, JB. JB. Hi. And? Senna. Senna. How you doing? Are you locals? No, we've actually come down from Cambridge just to see the ducks. No way! Yes. Look at this, this is proper fashion. I'm not being funny, look at this. You've come down to see the ducks as well. Everyone loves to see the duck pond in Finchingfield. It's gorgeous. You came from Cambridge just to come to Finchingfield? Yes. Really? Yes. Has it got like an emotional tie or something? Yes, we drove through here like, was it about a year ago? Yeah. So we drove here, exactly, to visit my parents at Christmas and the pond had flooded. Really? You had a Christmas tree, but the Christmas tree was within the pond, like <laughs> submerged. You're joking. Not like, not like completely <laughs> submerged, but it was like just yeah. a Christmas tree in the middle of the pond. Right. All lit up, gorgeous. So the that's. Was yes, yeah, 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 yeah. So Did you try and save it? Did you jump in, paddle, and try and save the Christmas tree? Could have, but it would have been a very wet paddle and a wet drive home. It would have been, wouldn't it? Uh, so, what's your story, guys? What's your story? What do you do? What do you do for a living? How do you do? You go first, we start. Um, so I'm an assistant teacher. Oh, are you originally from whereabouts? Japan. Oh, do you know what? I really want to go. Is that how you guys met? 
Yeah. Yeah, about you, like you, three, four years ago. Three and a half. Oh, four. Yeah, three, <laughs> three, three and a half, yeah. So you guys met in Japan? Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. You going there to study or? Essentially, yeah. So I'm an A&E doctor and I was working Brilliant. across there. Well, sort of studying across there. I mean, yeah. Over there. Come on, tell me the story how you met. Uh... <laughs> did, you trip, did you trip over a handbag or something? Yes, yes, tripped over a handbag. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. So, Enjoy the ducks. Thank you. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. All the best. Thank Take you. care. Bye bye. See ya. Now also while you're here, check out the oldest windmill in Essex. It stands on a hill overlooking the village. The Grade 2 listed post mill, also known as Duck End Mill and Letches Mill, is thought to have been built around 1756 and it stopped operating in around 1890. <laughs> this lovely lady, what's, what's your name, sorry? I'm Mary. Mary, nice to meet you. You too. I'm Adam. Hello. Uh, Mary said she's going to take me to the gallery. Yes. That's pretty awesome. Yes. Oh, nice. wonky wheel. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Let's do it. <laughs> what brings an Irish girl to Finchingfield? Um, I moved to England um, 18 years ago for my ex-husband and the rest is history, let's put it that way. So this typewriter artist is called right. James Cook. Let's so see. he creates all these drawings on ah. a typewriter. Oh right, let me have a little look. Okay. So this is a view over Malden in Essex. Okay. So this painting drawing up here is what he's done from this time lapse. Oh right, so there he is. So there he is doing it. Yeah. And then this is the completed article. Oh, stop it. And so this and is his exhibition. So basically I have 56 resident artists okay. in the gallery. Yeah. And over 180 pieces hanging. And how about you, Mary? Are you an artist? I studied fashion and textiles a long time ago. Okay. Um, but I lost my way in my art and I have to go back to it. I do keep. Why did you lose your way? I went into HR. I went into human resources for twenty no. years. No. Yeah. No. Yeah, but what three. Were you doing? I can't imagine you being in HR. Yeah, I was. Really? Yeah, I was a HR manager, but I gave it all up three years ago to open this amazing space. Good for you. Good for you. Yeah. And because this is your passion, right? Correct. Yeah. This is my passion. This is what I want to do. Where's your work? I want to see your work. I don't have any work. Come on, Mary. I know you have. No, I don't. You definitely have. It's locked somewhere in your drawer. No, I it don't. It is, isn't it? I don't have any work in the gallery at the minute. Oh, hello. What have we got here? <laughs> cheeky, Mary. Very cheeky. <laughs> This is my baby, this is my, yeah. this is my passion. And you know, of course. I've got this view out of the window. I know, let's have another look. Finching fields, I'm very, very lucky. I'm very honored because it's the only scenery place that you will get to see this view in Finching fields. Are you happy with this? Are you chuffed? Yeah, yeah, I just love it. Is this Absolutely. the dream, like? Yeah, yeah, completely. But I love the village. I came down that hill three years ago and I just fell in love with the place. It's that when you come down the hill you're like wow look yeah, at that right yeah exactly lovely mary thank you so much so that concludes our trip to finchinfield what a beautiful place i can't believe so many people come just to sit and watch the ducks on the pond have an ice cream just relax and chill out on the green and that's it just easy easy life so many people receptive to an idiot with a camera as well. So I just want to thank the people of Finch and Field. You've been really, really warm, really welcoming, and I'll definitely be back. Right, see you for the next one. Cheers.